All right, guys, I am back. I actually found two things of actually like two, eh, three things of interest actually, really. But um, where were we when I last left off? Somewhere down here. Yeah, I think down here is where we were. I dug up because I zoomed out and I saw the minecart track right here. I, I definitely want to go ride this thing and see if it takes us any closer to a uh, beehive. But I kept on going up and up and up and up. And then eventually found this, like an abandoned, uh, what do you call this thing again? I forget. But over here, there's a thing. Ivy chest. Oh, I didn't even know what that was called. But uh, where is it? Oh, it's right there at the very edge of the screen. Right there. Ivy chest. I don't know if it's locked. We need to go over there and actually check. But I actually cleaned out a pretty good amount of craters over here, which is good. I'm kind of thinking about going to my, uh, at least for this. Maybe for the boss battle itself, we could switch on over to the, uh, Oh, there's the piggy bank right there. We can switch back to this armor, but I, I do want to get the uh, night vision. There it is ultra bright helmet just to kind of help us out a bit, you know, because we're it is pretty dark, at least for me, because at least for you guys it's going to be brightened. I'm going to brighten the video, but grubby. Oh, there's a grubby right there. What about the statue there? What, what type of statue is that? Crab stat. Well, obviously, right? What's inside here, though? Angry band of regeneration plus 3% damage. What do we have? Uh, critical strike chance. Kind of thinking about getting that, you guys. Do a little bit more damage. I assume that's for everything, not just melee damage, not just range, but everything is just going to do more damage. So I'm definitely because we already have pretty good critical strike with. Uh, yeah, we have the, the flying carpet right there. It's more damage. Oh, we have more damage with the uh, specter boots as well. Movement speed right there. So movement speed for the uh, for the shield as well as the thing right here. So man, that's pretty good right there. You know what? I'm, go I'm going to get the plus damage. I don't think we need that one. So there you go. Switch it out. I'll, I'll still keep it, though. Silver bars, water walking potion, and some torches right there. Not too bad. Uh, I'll keep the torch or uh, the chest right there, though. Was that an anvil? Iron anvil. Hey, look at that. Don't mind if I do platinum chandelier. What's this? Is that a specter boot statue or something like that? What is that? Just a boot statue. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, also off camera, we got some diamonds as well. That's pretty good. I guess it's like really common down here in the uh, in the whatever you call this here, the, the jungle biome. Uh, I thought that might have been a rare flower. Was that a rare flower? Rich mahogany door. Whoops, broke that. Oh, there's a beehive in the actual or bee nest or whatever in this actual like base here. Hold on, let's break all this stuff. Break that chandelier. Got it. Silver chandelier, I think. There's another beehive nest thing. Kill those bees, hater. All right. Well, you know, I, I need to, I need to place down the, the piggy bank again. Place that down and uh, I need to clean out some more trash out of my inventory. So let's do that real quick. Uh, teal mushroom. Eh, you know, I'll put the seeds and stuff up. Let, let, me, let me quick stack anything that is all. Oh, boom. Wow. I quick that stacked a lot of stuff right there. You guys. Wow. Diamonds anvil. I don't think we need that. We already have uh, an anvil back at home. So we don't need that vine. I guess our first vine. So I might as well keep that cop up. Don't need that garbage. Loom. I already have that. So we can get rid of that. Teal mushroom. I guess we need uh no, we already have a lot of those. I'll put up that for the inventory space. Rope, we already have a ton of that. Banner regeneration, I'll put that up as well. And the chandeliers, I'll put that up too. So there you go, nice. Get the piggy bank back. Boom. Get that. Oh, wait, there's a golden chandelier up here. Yep, gold chandelier, nice. What's that? Is that another statue? No, it's just like a weird decorative thing right there. Okay. Is there anything else down there, though, before we, uh, Violet Husk? Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, there's another, yeah, silver chandelier there, okay. And, oh yeah, by the way, there are a couple heart containers over here too. Let's go to them real quick. Get this, uh, yeah, there's, there's two heart containers right there. There's another one up there to the left too. So let's get that one, boot, or light, you, you guys know what I mean, life crystal. As well as another bee nest with, uh, is that a chest? Oh, it's an actual chest? Another, uh, magic mirror, flaming arrows, for the fall potion, recall potion, some two gold, I might have I can do. And, uh, another gold chandelier right there, nice. Let me get the heckin' bees here. They already get killed? I think so. What was that? Wait, what was that? Sharp. Wait, hold on. What is that machine? I just got my things sharpened. Melee weapons have armor penetration. Whoa. I really want to tell. Can I get that? What was that? Sharpening station. How did I never have that before? What was that last? T 10 minutes. Whoa. Yeah, you know what? I'm keeping that in my egg inventory. I don't care. Another life crystal right there. And there's a third up here, too, isn't there? Yep, there's a third. Is there another one around here? Like a heckin' fourth or something crazy? I do know you guys said, hey, you need to keep getting the life crystals even though you have full health for pre-hard mode. Uh, you know what? I might as well hoard these for post-hard mode or just straight hard mode, right? <laughs> I might as well hoard them for uh, for then whenever hopefully we have a, a higher like health cap, I guess you can call it. So that'd be really good. But for right now, kinda wanna, I'm kind of thinking about maybe heading down. You know what? Yeah, we have the ivy chest over there too. Let's go open that too. Uh, but I also want to go down there to that minecart track and see if that will take us any closer to this beehive that is a... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, what was that over there? It's for structure. Another ch ivy chest over there, I believe. Okay, let's go over there. Uh, man, look at all these coins and stuff down here, you guys. Crazy. Can I get everything here, though? Of interest, at least. Thorns and stuff, statue. 
webs, another ivy chest there. So how do we go there? There's an ivy chest there, and then we go up, and there's another one right there. Okay, just go down there. Nice, my uh, my imp took care of that. Golly, he's so good. Like it's crazy, you guys. What's that thing? Another crab guy? What is that guy? I got crawl. Yeah, we got killed by one of those guys early on, didn't we? <laughs> there, we got got him taken care of. Let's go down here now. Let's go see what's inside of this ivy chest if we even can. Is it locked? Nope, it's just. Boomstick, 14 range damage, uh, very slow speed, some dynamite, gold bars, water walking potion, teleportation potion. Oh yeah, didn't I want to test that out one time and actually see like where does that take us? What is this? That oh, was a green toy. Yeah, you can like dye those any color you want. Uh, what is that? It's a hammer statue or something like that? I think so. I think I should check my heck inventory like that. While I'm, you know, we have another magic mirror. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll put that inside the piggy bank and try and get a little bit of money out of that perhaps? I don't know. Oh, like we have a lot of heckin' potions. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're able to place any of the uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Was an undead mine. I was about to say, is that another like, NPC over there? We need to watch out. There may be another NPC exclusively for the jungle biome. We need to definitely keep our eyes peeled for that. I'll put up the green torch though. I don't need that garbage. Now, what is that? Can I really not get that, uh, that 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 hammer right there? Oh yeah, there it is right there. I guess it was like on the ground for some reason. That was kind of crazy. I guess I'll keep it maybe. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll go over here. Let's go place down the piggy bank. I don't know why I'm not able to like place it on the ground and stuff. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. I'll place it on a platform though. Let's get a platform. Whoops. Oh, whoops. Just took a health potion right there. I think I was already full health. Whoops. <laughs> Place down the uh, piggy bank again. Let's empty our inventory again. So, uh, just do this. Quick stack. Boom. What else? Uh, yeah, let's keep the star sharpening station. Let's put up the life crystal. Put up the magic mirror. Might be able to get some money out of that, honestly. Boomstick. I guess we'll keep that. You know what? I'll, I'll keep the dino. I'll keep the bombs. I'll turn those into, uh... Do I have gel? I put up the gel? Oh, I did put up the gel. Yeah, I guess I'll keep the gel in my inventory. And, uh, turn those into whatever, you know? Uh, kind of get some inventory space back. So there you go. Sticky bombs. Boom. Let those stack up with the sticky bombs we already have. Same with the dynamite. Boom. Stack that up right there. Nice. And uh, do I not have a teleportation potion I can put up here? I guess not. Oh, by the way, the uh, ancient cobalt helmet. Interesting stuff here. Five defense increases maximum mana by 40 and 4% increased uh, magical critical strike chance. This thing's really, really good, you guys. Now it's equipable, I assume, as an actual helmet over here and not like a like I use it as like one of those things, I assume. So this seems pretty decent, but five defense? Well, well, that's four defense right there. That's nine, that's eight. I think the other one, uh, helmet is like either eight or seven or nine or something like that. Jungle spores, emerald. Is there anything over here I really don't need right now? Like, we have the Lucky's Nature's Gift and all the kind of, like, mahogany wood. I don't know, like, everything over here is, like, kind of, like, statues. Do I really need more statues? <laughs> like, what am I going to use as, as if we're, like, maybe selling them or something like that? Fire blossoms, voodoo doll and stuff. Man. I guess we'll just have to keep this stuff in our inventory, at least for right now, huh? Just because I don't know where, uh, what else to do with it, right? Let's get our pick a bank back. Boom. Yeah, look at all those. I can, you know what? Oh, whoa, whoa, no! No, man, I just teleported back home. That was an accident. Whoops. Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll, I guess I want to do my inventory real quick. Man, where were we, by the way? What in the world's all this? Uh, oh, that must be my imp or something like that. That was, like, constantly, like, penetrating the ground and showing me, like, what was on the ground, like, heckin' radar. Ground penetrating radar or something crazy. That would have been weird. Actually, you know what? Maybe this is, uh. Yeah, I don't know, actually. I was about to say, like, maybe it was something to do with, like, turning a crystal because it's, like, exclusively right there. But I guess not. I don't know what was happening there. That's kind of crazy. But that's our progress right there. Uh, kind of unfortunate. And we teleported back. I guess we'll have to pause and get back to that minecart track and, uh. Not seeing it. Not seeing any beehives right now. There's still, uh. That's where we were, right? We still have an ivy chest right there I want to go check out. I'm not seeing, like, a big blotch of yellow or anything like that. I think this might be the corner of the jungle, so, uh, still pretty good. I'd say we're probably maybe uh, an eighth of the way through that jungle biome right there, <laughs> honestly. So I doubt we've really made too much headway there, but man, that was a heckin' misclick if that ever happened, right? Sheesh. But I guess it's kind of a blessing in disguise. We can kind of put up some of the stuff in, uh, there you go, quick stacked in nearby chests and stuff. And we're at the sharpening station, so hey, you know what? I wonder if I should keep this here or, uh, yeah, look at that. We could, it's actually kind of a small thing. I could place it down, like, uh, like right there. And just like right before I leave, you know what? Uh, how do I do that? Did I just do it right there? Yeah, just like right click it, boom, sharpen my stuff before I go out to battle and then boom. Does what, how much? It just has armor penetration. I, I don't know if that really makes sense for this. Like does it, for PVE sort of sense stuff? I don't know if, like, I guess maybe like, like, like some things would have armor, like some of those bosses maybe have some armor and that'd be really powerful, you guys. I guess maybe we could take, like actually pick that up and then just kind of equip it and then use it right before a boss battle just to make sure that 10 minutes is like completely refreshed and stuff like that, right? But for right now, I think I'm going to go empty out my heckin' piggy bank because I heckin' accidentally, you know, loot all, there you go. 
and then quick stack. Just gotta do this. What? Man. Oh wait, hold on. I'm thinking I'm too uh, too far away. There you go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better. <laughs> I was about to say there's no way that that didn't quick stack like even more heck and stuff right there. That's crazy. There you go. Let's do it again. Get closer to my chest. There you go. Quick stack again. And just keep doing this over and over and over. And then just. Oh man, yeah, I just don't have- yeah, I, I do have keys and stuff here I need to put up too. I just don't- and, and like money, so uh, let's put that up. 58 gold now, you guys. Man, we caught back up with money like pretty I can fast you guys. It's kind of crazy. Let me try and sell some of this stuff here, though. Uh, is there anything else I don't really need right now, though? Uh, I don't know, let me let me just try and sell to the zoologist. What are you gonna buy? Or how much are you going- No, 60- yeah, boot stat, sure. I'm, I'm not gonna use it, so sure, take it. Pickaxe statue, I don't care. One gold, one silver, one four copper for two gold chandeliers. I don't care. Take it. So 94 cent. Really? That's it for that thing? Like a man of regeneration, one gold, 51 silver. Do I really want to get rid of that one? Or I think I'm going to keep it at least for right now. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's make the blade. I guess. Pfft. Let's make the blade of grassy, guys. We can do it. Let's I can do it, Hater. Uh, 38 stingers. How many spores do we have? Where are those at? We have 30 jungle spores. So that's good. Platinum chandelier. Sure. Take that. I don't care. Just give me some money. And uh, life crystals, yeah, definitely want to keep those. I guess, yeah, you could get some money out of that, too. So, that's pretty decent. Uh, I don't know really what to do with those. Then a magic mirror, I don't know if... You know what, I kind of want to go... Yeah, let's go talk to Kyle. Is there anything else I could use the magic mirror for? Or pff, Maxwell, you guys know what I mean. Is there anything else I could use a magic mirror for? Crafting-wise, other than, like, cell phone with a PDA. I guess, I guess that's what we use our... Because we're working on the PDA right now. We just need to get the goblin tech and the fishing... Thing, which apparently we get like once again from like rare trades rare drops all that kind of stuff so pff, who knows when that's gonna happen right but we i guess we'll just combine our magic mirror with the pda to get the cell phone so yeah i guess we just sell this extra one that we have right here did i actually do that right there i might have oh no i put it in kyle's or uh, maxwell's inventory right there that's why it went away whoops <laughs> yeah i guess we can sell this extra one real quick just get a little bit of money out of it so boom get a little bit of money out of that crap statue boom get rid of that garbage too Lucky Nature's Gift and stuff, like, I don't know. I don't know if I actually use this kind of stuff, right? Like, I, I'll keep it for right now. But, uh, I think that's going to be it for getting rid of some of that stuff. Is there anything else in the piggy bank we can, uh, really just kind of get? Oh, yeah, we have, like, the boomstick and, uh, whoops, grab that. And the, there you go. That's fine. Uh, you know what, let's put up our money, too. So, there you go. Let's go put up the, uh, the stuff in the potions chest, which I guess didn't already... Oh, God, it's actually full. That's why. Holy heck. Uh, sort... Yeah, this is actually full. Well, there's a bottle right there. I guess we put that up. So, uh, for the fall potion. That in there? I guess it wasn't. What? Why did not stack up right there? That's kind of weird. Huh. Either way. Uh, any more potions? Nope. That's all the potions right there. So, that's good. So, I uh, random loot. I put up the, uh, you know what? Yeah, we need to put up, like, the nature's flower stuff. We need to put that up in, uh, to there. So, let's do that. Boom. Boom. And same thing with the ancient cobalt helmet. Let's put that there in the lucky band of regeneration. Put that up in there as well. And the violet husk. We can put that up in the dyes and paint stuff chest. So, put that over here. As well as I guess the bottles, we could put that up over there too. Boomstick, that's a weapon, so let's put that over here. Boom. <laughs> Boom for the boomstick. And then some vines. I don't know really what to put that, but for right now, we have the spores and all the kind of stuff. Let's see. Can we make that weapon? The the blade of grass. There. Oh my god, there it is. Blade of grass. What else do we have here though? Thorn ch chakram. What is that? Not a I don't know what that is, but I am kind of intrigued. I might be able to make it right now. Yeah, it's kind of as a like a ivy whip. Snap thorn, jungle hat, jungle shirt. Not decent stuff there, honestly. Like if we if we spawned a little bit closer to the jungle and we explored early on, this would have been pretty good I could stuff. I'm not gonna joke around, but I'm gonna get the blade of grass for 12 each. Okay, boom. We have 26 stingers left and 18 jungle spores. You guys, I'm kind of curious about the thorn chakram thing. So let's grab that. Oh, uh, there you go. Six uh spores and nine uh stingers. So that's 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 fine. Ivy whip. Equipable. Equip equip a bull. Cut that out of the video. Uh, and then we have the Snap Thorn, which looks like some sort of, like, ranged weapon. Summon damage. Oh, it's a summon damage thing. Kind of, kind of curious about this, honestly. Your summons will focus struck enemies. So this is kind of like the whip, right? Or like the leather whip or something like that, where it'll, I don't know. How do I make that? Oh, that's the vine, the jungle spores, and the 12 stick. Golly, yeah, that's a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to do it right now, but I am... I'm very curious right now, you guys. Let's get the Miramasa. Let's see. I, I'd hate... Because this is demonic and all, right? The Miramasa, that, that, that's, that's all pretty good, too. I forgot what it was specifically. Murderous. That's really good. Demonic, murderous. Just a regular blade of grass. Didn't give me anything there. Sheesh. Then we have the, the Bulky Blood Butcher, which is... I think it had some pretty bad enchantments earlier on, but, uh, you know, it got better. Or, you know what I mean, enchantment. Uh, but it got better, you know, with time. 
Then what's this thorn chakram thing? What is that? How do I use that? Oh, what? Oh, it's, is it like a boomerang or something like that? Huh. Kind of. I think it is. Interesting. And it bounces off of stuff too, or what? It does. Ooh. I think I'm going to keep that at least for right now, you guys. 26 melee damage, though. How is that compared to our boomerang? I don't even have... Oh, there it is. Yeah, can we do something with the boomerang? I think we can. I forgot to do it, though. Oh, yeah, you do it with Hexstone, don't you? I think you do it with Hexstone. Hold on, let's go to this. Let's see. I think it was like some sort of boomerang. Oh, yeah, Flamerang. 10... Yeah, pff, let's do it. Boom, there you go. Strong Flamerang for 15% knockback. Not bad. 34 melee damage, though. So it is pretty comparable to the Thorn Chakram thing. Uh, so not too bad, I suppose. I, I guess I'll, I'll keep that in my inventory for right now. I'll probably end up putting up... Putting it, putting it up later, but for right now, you guys, let's go to our inventory, let's see. Can we make... Oh, where do we do it, though? Like, specifically. Do I need to... Hold on. Uh, Maxwell. Talk to you. Where is this? Crimson Altar. Oh, oh, you guys. We need to go downstairs. We haven't gone downstairs in a while. But we're going downstairs to use the Crimson Altar right now. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Go up the... I have a literal rope right there. Why am I not using it? There you go. <laughs> Get rid of these vines here. There you go. Let's go to the Crimson Altar now. Or near it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Knight's Edge. 44 melee... Wait, isn't this supposed to be like 50? I thought... Wasn't it supposed to be 50? Hold on. Was I looking at the wrong thing? I don't know. I might have been looking at the wrong thing. No, it says uh, 42 melee damage. Hold on. No, this one says 44. What in the world? Huh. I don't know. Either way, I guess we'll make it real quick. So, you guys, we're about to do it. The Blood Butcher, the Mirabasa, the Blade of Grass, the Fiery Grey Sword. We're about to put all those together. Combine them together. Combine their powers together to get the Knight's Edge. There it is. What did we get? What is it? Is it terrible? What is it? Let's see. Zealous. That's, 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 meh. That's decent. <laughs> but we got rid of a, a, a demonic... Plus 14% or something like that. Percent, uh, what do you call it? It was at like 49 melee damage too. Oh man, I, I kind of feel like that was a little bit of a downgrade. But then again, remember, we do need the Knight's Edge to make like the true Knight's Edge or whatever here in the future. So uh, we do have decent money too. Oh, two minutes left on the sharpen thing. Sheesh. But we do have uh, two minutes left. Or uh, what do you call it? We do have like a lot of gold, I think I was trying to say right there. To go reforge it with uh, Gerd over here. Let's go see if we can do that. <laughs> this is probably going to be so like, expensive, it's insane. Let's go see. Eight gold. Oh my gosh. We have uh, 61. Am I going to do it? It, it? What about the thorn thing? One gold. A gold to do that there. Golly. Demonic game staff. I, I, I'm going to keep that there. Agile mini shard, strong blood, uh, blah, blah, blah. Golly. That eight gold there, though? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I'm just so... Like, we, we, we took a while to get up to 61 from, like, actually zero gold there, you guys. But for something like this, it might be worth it. Let's do it. Boom. What? Small O. Well, at least it's only five gold. Only five gold. Oh, whoops. Uh, tiny. Are you kidding me? Sharp. Oh, oh, 51. You know what? That, that's probably about as good as that's going to get. We spent a lot of gold already. We're down to how much gold do we have? Oh, my God. We spent 18 gold right there. Oh, my God. Let's spend another one real quick just to reforge that. Oh, it's broken. What? <laughs> well, there it is, Zells again, but, uh... Broken again! Oh my god! Shoddy! Forceful! Oh my god! Okay, forget that. We're probably not even going to use that. Oh, you kidding me? That's terrible. That is actual, literal gambling right there, you guys. Don't do that, okay? Ah, uh, but at least we got the Knight's Head. It, uh, the sharpened thing's about to run out right there, you guys. Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! And it's gone. All right, well, let's get it back. There he goes, back 10 minutes right there, you guys, nice. But now we got the Knight's Edge. How fast is this, though? About the same speed, I think. And it's uh, it's not like the Miramasa, where you just hold down the button and it constantly swings, unfortunately. So you do have to spam click it here. And it, it, you, you just constantly hold it down for this thing, which is pretty cool, but... Man, hopefully the true Knight's Edge here in the future is just, like, a lot better. But me personally, I uh, might as well favor that, by the way. Don't trash it, sheesh. <laughs> but me personally, I think I'm going to be using the, uh, this thing, the heckin' Zealous Sun Fury thing. Like, look at that distance, too, like, to even do more damage. And it kind of bounces off walls, too, which is kind of crazy. Man, that sucks. Well, not that big of a deal, though. At, at least we're, we're one step closer to getting the best... Well, this is supposedly the best pre-hard mode sword, right? So, 
Just can't complain about that, but we're that much closer to getting the best sword in general. Like, hard mode and all. Here pretty soon, you guys. Like, after we do the whole wall of flesh thing, actually go into hard mode. So that should be pretty cool. At least, you know, in the future. But right now, I'll put that up. And we have a jungle torches. I don't know where to put stuff like torches. Where, where do I put that stuff at? I don't know. Random loot, nah. Animals. Structures, maybe? Is that... <laughs> or t I guess they're kind of a structure, maybe? I guess you can classify them as that, but... I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just put them in, like, random loot for, like, special stuff like a jungle torch. I don't know. But the money trough, let, let's keep that there and let's favorite it, too. So, uh, boom. So, I guess I definitely want to go test that out. And we have the, uh, strong flamerang, which is... I guess I go check if, uh, how much that's going to be to reforge that. I assume it's going to be a pretty heck of penny, so let's see. This is a, uh, heck thing, right? Four gold! Golly, I'm not doing that. We, we already spent a lot of money right there. I'm not doing it again. Sheesh. Uh, do we still have the- yeah, we still have the imp, so that's good. Uh, so I want to try- yeah, see, look at that. We have- so we, we have a net positive of torches, so I didn't even need to make torches back there, you guys. It's crazy. Now, uh, was there anything else I want to do here while we're still at home, though? I don't know. I think we want to put up the, uh, the, the, the spores. And the thorns over here in the rare drops or whatever chest. Material, uh, vines or whatever. I don't, I don't know what to do with those, to be quite honest. So maybe I'll put those in plants. I guess I'll put those up over there. So there you go. <laughs> Negative dye. Why is that over there? It needs to be over in the dye and paints. There you go. Now, are we pretty much set right now? Like, can I, oh, uh, I guess we could put, like, what about, like, gel, though? Where am I going to put something like gel? Random loot, maybe. I guess. There you go. Just kind of, you know, put up a heckin' good amount of this, uh, gel here. Just don't have to worry about it. I'm going to keep like a 126 in my inventory right now, just so it kind of stacks up there. So there you go. Oh my god, we have so many meter shots. I'm going to put up some of that too in the uh, in the weapons chest. Just kind of get rid of that uh, inventory slot right there. So there you go. Do we have 999 right there? Right? Sheesh. We don't need any more. <laughs> At least right now, huh? What do we? What do we? What is all this? Horde of Dragon, Crimson Heart, Imp, Cozy Fire, Happy Banner of like a thousand banners, and we got the Sharpen thing right there, you guys. Should I keep that? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to grab it real quick. You know what? I'm going to grab it. Boom. And we're going to keep that in our inventory. We're going to favorite it. And uh, we're going to place it down whenever we're about to go into a heck in battle. So, boom. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Slime is falling from the sky. You guys know what that means? I guess, I guess it's time to just heck and grind heck slimes real quick. Literally grind them up with a second meatball thing right here. A spiky meatball sun fury thing. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, let me, let me just pause the recording. I just killed literal thousands of slimes real quick. Get a hundred slime banners. And then I guess uh, I'll see you guys here in just a bit at the jungle biome. Going to go see what's inside of those other ivy chests over here. As well as to ride the minecart, see if that takes us any closer to the hive as well. So just try and find the hive in general, because I don't know where it is. I'm not seeing any hints of it right now, so that kind of sucks. What is this? That must be a big thing of gold there, huh? Sheesh. Yeah, that looks pretty delicious. What is this? A thousand slimes over here. Yeah, look at all. There's a decent amount of coins over here. <laughs> no rare enemies nearby. Yeah, obviously, right? But yeah, let me just pause the recording, and I'll see you guys over at the uh, the jungle biome, and hopefully we'll be that much closer to finding this heckin' hive. So, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh my- Oh god! You guys, the king slime randomly just spawned in right there. I don't know what happened. What in the- Are there multiple king slimes right now? What's happening? I don't know, but I'm- Oh! 300th blue slime has been defeated. Let's get him with this thing. Hopefully we can kill him with this, you guys. Holy heck. Heal up. There you go. We're healing up right now, you guys. Hopefully, uh, boom. Get him with that. We get him? We got him. Nice. Man, this is doing some pretty good things. He's already down significantly on his health. My imp is helping out with his battle. Yeah, this is cool, too. My imp can help out with boss battles, you guys. It's crazy. Uh, I'm actually taking some su substantial damage. Man, this thing is able to rip through him so hardcore. It's crazy. One more hit and he's down, I think. Oh. Oh, oh, he just teleported. Boom! We just got him again, you guys. Sticky situation. Also off camera, I killed a pink slime. I got an achievement saying like, ah, what was it called again? I don't know, but I killed like a pink slime that like came out of the sky and oh, whoa, whoa, we got another, oh, yeah, it's another, uh, yeah, nothing too crazy there. Another like slime extraction, whatever thing to make like furniture out of slime, which is stupid. <laughs> But uh, I got some or pink gel right there, so that's pretty cool. It says bouncy and sweet. I don't know what the uh, achievement was. Wait, what was that? Where's my honey? Discover a large beehive. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It shows you, hey, you need to do this, Ada. Where's that thing at? Uh, yeah, kill Pinky. Pretty and pink. I got that. I, I didn't even see it. I was just spamming this and just killing heck and stuff, but I guess I killed a slime there. Well, I guess, yeah, at the end of a, uh, a slime rain thing, I guess the king slime can spawn in or something like that, right? So I guess that's why it spawned in right there. Okay. We had anything crazy during that, though. Ninja Hood, we already had that. Solidifier already had that. Slime Gun already have that. King Slime Mask already had that. Tungsten Ore, and eh, not too bad either. And uh, Precise Shackle, just another shackle we're probably going to heck and sell. And uh, nothing nothing new there, honestly. So pff, I guess that's it for the, uh, for the Slime Rain sort of thing, you guys. 
Anyways, like I said earlier, let me just pause, head over to the jungle biome once again. Now, oh god, Abraham the Traveling Merchant. Okay, hold on. This happens all the time, like right before I can pause, something happens. Where is this guy at? Oh, he's here. Okay. I thought I was over at one of the other uh, bases or something. Oh, he's on top of my house. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see what he has to trade. Hopefully something good in the form of uh, Birdie Rattled. <laughs> Nowhere near enough money for that. Chalice. Magic Hat. Two defense. 7% increased magic damage and critical strike chance. That sounds intriguing, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Pressure. Preserator. Preserator. Automatically places actuator on. Uh, I'm not going to. Extendo grip. Increases block placement and tool range by three. Whoa. Now that could be really good for like mining. Especially mining Hexstone under... Well, then again, I have the lava resistant thing, right? So I don't even need the uh, Extendo Grip, huh? What's this block placement? Does that mean block, like, breaking too, maybe? I don't know. I assume not, because it says specifically block placement. Tool range. I don't know, maybe tool range kind of means, hey, using the pickaxe on, like, blocks and stuff like that. But that's 10 gold. That's a lot of money right there. Like, if, I, if I'm mining... Like, I can just mine through the wall and just get it closer, right? Especially now that I have the lava thing, I don't even need to worry about lava for a little while. But then again, it, it, it's just safer in general to try and avoid lava at all costs, even with the seven seconds of immunity. Should I get that? I'm really kind of thinking about it right there, you guys. Ten gold for that thing. I'm definitely not going to get that right now. I'm not going to get the magic hat, even though it is kind of a meme. Chalice? I don't know about that. Birdie rattle? Literally can't afford that. I'm not even halfway to getting that anymore. We're at like 61 gold earlier, we're at 37 now, so that sucks. Spent like 20-something gold, trying to 24 gold, trying to get a heckin', uh, what do you call it? Uh, a good reforge on the heckin', whatever that is, up the sharp knight's edge, which is all right and all, but... Pff, I'm like five, four, five gold out of that? That's, that's decent and all, but... We spent like 18 trying to get it up to, to that, you know, so... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to sell it. Anyways... I think I'm going to get the Extendo Grip. Like, how often have we seen that, right? So there you go, boom. And of course, I have to, like, actually equip it over there, right? I don't think I... Uh, yeah, it says equipable. So I don't think I have to... Oh, wait, hold on. What about this? What if I did this? Yeah, I, that, that's not what it means. So I guess I have to put it over here, and then I'll be able to, like, mine stuff from far away. Like, what if we put it there instead of the, uh... Instead of the thing? Like, what is my... Like, how far away can I be to mine something? Like, uh... I don't know. Let's let's go down here. What about what about this? Like, what if I wanted to get that copper? Like, how far away can I be? Let's get rid of the smart cursor thing too. I go all the way up to there. Whoa, Pff, that's pretty far away, honestly. Was that three extra range? And I can't I can't hit that just yet. But uh, let's see. If I got rid of that though, and the pickaxe appears like right here. Pickaxe only goes to there. It went all the way up to there. Huh. I could see this being pretty useful in certain situations, especially mining hexstone in the heck and uh. Heck area, <laughs> the underworld. So yeah, I, I I could definitely see its uses and stuff. Maybe I'll keep it in the piggy bank. Then maybe that'd be a good one. Just kind of keep it in the piggy bank. Just say, you know, hey, if I ever want to use that, then hey, there you go, right? So that seems good and all. But uh, for right now, I guess I'll just uh, quick stack to all nearby whatever. So there you go. Get rid of all that garbage. Precise shack. Well, I guess I'll sell that real quick. There you go. Twenty five silver out of that. Ninja Hood, we already have one of those, I believe, so put that up. I'll get the uh, the flying carpet pack, so there you go. King Slime Mask, we already have one of those. Slime Gun, already have one of those. Blue Banner, yeah, I might as well sell some of the banners, to be quite honest, because that's just garbage. And uh, Pink Slime, I don't know what to really do with that, so I, I suppose I'll put that over in the random loot. Let's put that right there with the other slime, so there you go, you guys. Nice. Make sure I don't take up multiple slots. All right, well, yeah, like I said earlier, go to pause the recording, head on over to the, uh, to the jungle biome. Let's try and find the second hive, shall we? All right, guys, I am back. Amazing news. I'm here in the jungle biome. I found it, you guys. I found the beehive biome, or whatever it's called, the mini biome. I'm heading over here, though. This is the other ivy uh, box or whatever that we saw. This is where we were over here. This is where ivy chest. This is where we were when we accidentally, like, mirrored back home. Here's the other one over here. Let's see what's inside this one. I'll show you guys. There you go. Sheesh. And I'll show you guys. Uh, jagged feral claws can be worn in vanity slots. Increase melee speed, 12%, plus 1% uh, melee damage, as well, or just damage, too. That's pretty decent. Jester's arrow, weak knockback, 10 range damage. Flaming arrow, healing potions, danger sense. Oh, man, I'm out of inventory space again. Oh, by the way, I also saw a honey block, and I was like, you know what? I need to start looking around here. If I found something called a honey block, which I think we even saw earlier on, I just never noticed it, I guess. Huh? I never hovered over it, never mind it, didn't know what it was. But we have a honey block. I, I looked around. That's 10, T actual 10 block, or 10 brick. I don't know. Cobweb, yeah, I'll definitely get rid of that. Jungle sport, I'll keep that stone block. Keep that, uh, torches, I'll just stack it with ours, so that's good. But let's head on over to, oh, you know what, this is a good spot. I read you guys' comments saying that the money trough will just spawn, there you go, a flying piggy bank right in front of me. 
that I don't even need to- Oh, hold on, let's zoom in. That I don't even need to, like, place down on, like, a platform or anything like that. So thank you guys very much for letting me know about that. Very, very handy here. I suppose we'll, uh, we'll put, like, pretty much everything over there. So there you go. Pretty much everything- Oh, yeah, our old our, uh, armor. Put that up. Or keep that, at, at least. But once we, uh, head into this- this boss battle with the bee, definitely want to use the sharpening station, you guys. How long does this guy last, though? Does this guy last, like, until I, uh, like- Like, forever? Like, what? Er, hold on. Someone's a pick up- it's somewhere you're right. Yeah, okay, well- Does he go away? Does he- or does he just stay there forever? I assume he stays there forever, maybe, or despawns after a little while? I don't know. Uh, we have some more hornets over here, like pink looking hornets, so I guess we'll get them. Yeah, I've been using the, uh, the, the, the dark blade, or what was it? Nice blade? Yeah, sharp, nice edge. I've been using that a little bit more often. You're just trying to get used to it. It does do it, especially when you get, like, a crit or whatever. What is that, triple damage? It does amazing heckin' damage, guys. It's crazy. But, of course, I have to spam click it just to kind of get it to, uh, to do damage in the first place. So that kind of sucks. But somewhere, where was it? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I almost missed that ancient cobalt breastplate. Holy, we had an ancient cobalt helmet earlier that like what? Eats through, uh, increases maximum mana by 20% increased magic critical strike chance. The helmet like negates armor. No, wait, no, not negates armor. I think that was a shark tooth you guys were talking about. But we have like ancient cobalt uh, helmet as well. So that's going to be pretty good with that. I assume the ancient cobalt helmet is similar to the chest piece right there. So nothing too crazy, I suppose. But I just let my imp take care of that. But you guys over here, boom, found it. We found the hive. Let's go down there and let's go. Let's go just see what's over there in the first place, right? I just want to go see like in general, like, are we going to do the boss battle like right here and right now? Like, I feel like we're about to you guys. This is the final boss battle. And you know what, if we're going to be doing that, I, I might as well just, because there's already like building stuff here is relatively safe. I guess I'll just place down the sharpening station, boom. Get a nice, uh, how do I do it? There you go, right click, get 10 whole minutes of, uh, was that armor piercing or whatever? Yeah, armor penetration. That sounds amazing. There you guys, I love that. So let's go down. Where was that from here? Down, okay. Yeah, we were really close. Like, look, look at this. Hold on, where are we at right now? Yeah, kill that thing. Sheesh. Uh, but this is where we are right here. Uh, and like right here, yeah, this is where I saw the honey. Those are honey blocks right there, which is crazy. Like, look at how close we were. Like, pfft, I don't know how. It, I, yeah, that's honey up there too at the bottom of that. I don't know how I never noticed that, but over here, I haven't even gone over here. This is where my uh my my imp went, and I was just like, I was looking at the big map, and I was like, oh my god, there it is right there, you guys. Should we have to break into this? Is that her right there? Is that the queen bee right there we just saw that I just hovered over? I feel like it is. We've got a lot of hornets around here, you guys. Yeah, I think we have to actually break into it. So uh, oh whoa whoa whoa. Oh, uh, yeah, that's my imp. I was like, what in the world? Something heckin' flying in through there. Oh, man, we've got, like, skeletons and stuff here, but you know, let's, let's definitely, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's, like, actual, like, liquid honey. Achievement complete. Where's my honey? <laughs> I'm, like, inside the honey right there. It's flowing down and everything. I think that's her right there, you guys. I'm taking some damage from that, though. Just watch out. Let's heal up. Boom. And I feel like, uh, if we break that, that's going to summon the boss battle. And, yep, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, what am I taking damage from? Life regeneration is increased from the honey. Yeah, but, like... Something was killing me right now. I don't know what it was. Huh. Either way, attack this thing, I assume. And this will summon in the boss battle, I, I, I guess. Oh, Queen Bee has awoken. Where? Oh, jeez. Wait, 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 which, which, which one's the real one? Was there two of them? Are there two Queen Bees? Hold on. Magic missile, let's, uh, I think there are, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Why are there two Queen Bees? What? Hold on. Did something glitch? I feel like something glitched, you guys. Let's get this thing out. I'm trying to do, uh, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Go up here. Do some spinny stuff on him. Nice. Get some DPS on him. Getting like 44 damage per hit right there. That's crazy. Let's get him with this. And you know what? You know what? Let's get the space gun, too. Holy. Yeah, we could go into the honey, and that, 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 that gives us better life regen or whatever, so that's great. Just kind of avoid her. We're, we're doing really well in health right now, you guys. We don't have to really worry about too much. Where is our imp at? There, yeah, there he is down there. That's good. He's still, he's still doing a great job right now. They, yeah, they have both different amounts of health. Queen bee, queen bee. They, they're both the same. I actually don't know the difference between the two of them right now, you guys. Holy heck. I can't. Hold on. There we go. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah, look at that. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Man, that's a lot of damage. Golly. And then we hit it with, like, the, the long range on there, too. Oh my god, look at all that damage we're doing! Holy, which one was the real one right there? One of them? Yeah, one of them flew away. Man, they were making some crazy noises right there. There he is, there it is. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna heal. Boom. 
because we, we can only do that once per minute. So don't want to don't want to waste that. Boom! Lot of damage right there, you guys. Nice. How much health does she have? Four thousand or something like that. And I don't even know. I, I assume this is the real one. Yeah, look at the the main boss bar at the bottom was actually going down right there, which is good. Is this the real one? I don't know. They, had, yeah, they once again they have differing like health bars. There you go, one queen bee down. Is there an actual second? Am I actually fighting two queen bees at the same? I am. There's a second health bar. What? Queen bee has been defeated. <laughs> Did I actually do it, you guys? Did I actually fight two queen bees at the literal same time? Accidentally, like, completely out of the blue? You guys, is that, does that happen often? Is that possible for two queen bees to spawn at the same time? Was it like a glitch? <laughs> I don't know. That was crazy. Man, and it was really easy, too. Almost just fell to heck and fold him. What was that, an ivy chest down there? Can't tell if that is. Uh, oh, yeah, I also got some comments from you guys saying, hey, there's no such thing as strange plants in pre-hard mode now. Uh, I guess they, like, patched it or something like that. Maybe that was part of 1.14 or something. Or 1.4. I could be getting it mixed up because Minecraft is, like, in the, in the teens and stuff, you know? So, whatever. Anyways, you guys know what I mean. But that was, like, one of the easiest bot Like, what was she even doing? Like, I, I, I never even noticed, like, an actual attack she was doing. But, you, like, clearly she was doing some damage because I had to heal up during that, right? And what 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 all we get right there? I, I saw, like, I see, like, different bee body parts and stuff that we picked up right there, which is kind of crazy. And I assume if we come back here, is it po Yeah, look at this. It's, it actually is a mini biome. That's all it is right there, you guys. And there's a ton of hiking honey there. Gold right there. Nice. Webs. Uh, I, oh, whoa, whoa. Why is that in, like, the shape of a key? You can see that. It looks like a key. Oh, yeah, and then we have the minecart. Definitely want to ride that, you guys. But uh, I, I assume there could be, like, multiple of these queen bee hives here, honestly. Uh, I don't know if she can spawn here again or what. Or if this is actually the only one I'll ever see. Uh, or, or, like, in this one. And this one's just, like, kind of obsolete now. I don't know. I kind of think we could do something with that honey. Like, if I had a bucket, I might scoop some of it up and maybe use it. Maybe talk, talk to Maximo, talk to Kyle about it. See what he says about it. Say, oh, whoa, 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 we actually picked up some honey. Bottled honey restores 80 life. I like the sound of that. Bee wax, 47 of those. Now, oh, a bee hat. <laughs> bee hat, I've got to wear that, you guys. <laughs> I look stupid. Agile bee gun. Now, what is this? Uh, shoots bees that will chase your enemy. Now, wait, what? Yeah, speaking of such, what I was getting killed by right there? Was I actually getting killed by bees? I think I was. Hmm. Is this, uh, it was a social slot. No stats. Yeah, no, so it is just purely just decoration. Hornet banner. Uh, yeah, I guess I got that from killing a bunch of hornets, hive, ten hive blood at this point after I broke into there. Bee nade, that's what you guys were saying, hey, the wall of flesh, you need bee nades. 14 range damage, 8% critical strike, very fast speed, extremely weak knockback, consumable, explodes into a swarm of bees, whoa, and it looks like a heckin' bee hive, so it's crazy. Bottled honey, bees wax, there's my old hat. Agile bee gun, I want to test that out. Forceful, the bees knees, 24 range, is this a boomerang? It looks like it. Wooden arrows turn into a column of bees. No, it's a bow. 24 range damage compared to 25 on the staunch heck wing. That's plus nine. This is actually decent, you guys. Like, it doesn't even have, like, a range, like a... Or, a, not a range, but, like, a damage, like, buff. And it has 24 range damage. This one has a 9% damage uh, buff. And it's at 25. Like, this is probably, like, 22, 23 or something like that beforehand, right? Hmm. Seems pretty good, you guys. Like, if we reforge that and get something really good out of that... Places hives, consume hives and places. Wait, what? Uh, hive wand. So, what? Oh my god, I can actually. Does that take a. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is right there. Wait, what? Why would I want to. Can't that just place those down normally? Like, I could actually just place those down normally, right? Oh, then look at that. Honey comes out of them. Hey! And, and bees come out of them too. Oh, I think. I don't know. There's a ton of honey coming out of that, you guys. That's crazy. Rash depth meter. Yeah, that's a lot of honey coming out, man. That's crazy. Hold on. So that's probably a lot of heck and honey came like leaking down and stuff like that. Six uh, hive right there. Uh, I guess I'll mine some of this just to kind of have some, you know? Just as like a souvenir sort of thing. So I suppose we'll grab some. Boom, just grab a pretty good amount of that. Just kind of for the road and stuff, you know? Let a little bit of that honey just kind of leak down because it's just going to anyways, right? Might as well. There you go. How much do we have now? We have uh, 16. Ah, that's decent. And we have the Agile B gun. I'm going to test that thing out. I'm going to see how good that is. So, a uh, seven for the Agile B gun. That's... Boom. There you go. So, let's do it. She's supposed to shoot out bees that, like, fight by my side. It, I, I guess it doesn't take actual ammo. Uh... <laughs> look at the bees flying all over the place. It's stupid. I assume this thing is good. Like, it said it does, like, a single-digit damage or something. Yeah, nine magic damage. Oh, it uses, uh... It uses mana. 
Okay. Look at that thing, he's chasing after a hornet. Man, the thing's getting swarmed. <laughs> Look at all those bees. <laughs> it's like a Nicolas Cage film. No, not the bees, not the bees. Oh man, a lot of money over here just kind of laying around randomly. Sheesh, oh, speaking of such, hey. Yeah, we, we don't have very many, we're not using very much mana, you guys. Might as well spawn in a bunch of heckin' bees, like just to swarm them. There we go, man. Look at that, I can't, I, look at that! The heckin' bitrate's probably going down, the drill will have a pretty high bitrate anyways, but it probably looks like I can trash if you guys are watching it, sheesh. <laughs> Hopefully the video compresses fine. But, man, we got some really good stuff there, you guys. Like, considering we actually killed two queen bees right then and there, like, I'd say we got some, and probably good money as well. Yeah, 14 gold right there. Let's get the uh, money trough out. There's our pig friend. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, let's put our money up, because I forgot to do it earlier on. So let's do that. Uh, bottled honey. I guess I put some of the bee stuff. Like, the bee nade. You guys said, hey, keep that. Bee wax. Forceful bee's knees. I definitely want to keep that for, uh... And I don't know about the high wand. Like, honestly, though. Like, like right? Let me put a pig bank in the pig bank. <laughs> there you go. Just kind of clean out of my inventory, because we're not going to be using it, right? That's good. 